Children, grab your pillow, and parents, grab your lighter. Make yourself real cozy, because we're pulling in a lighter. It's a podcast about the fairy tales you've heard many, many times. This time will be different, because we're stoned out of our minds. So spark up a bowl, and tuck yourselves in. Once Upon a Dime is about to begin. The story we're going to tell you tonight is Fundevogel. Fundevogel. It starts out with a forester. He's forestering. (laughs) He's just doing his forestry stuff. And he's planting trees. Oh, so maybe a forester is one who creates forests. And he hears a screaming. Uh, It sounds like a little kid. Mm -hmm. And he sees that the screaming is is a little kid coming from the top of a tree. Yeah. So what happened, how this little boy got on top of the tree, the his mother had fallen asleep. And when she fell asleep, the bird looked down and saw this baby laying on the sleeping woman. And the bird's like, fair game. So the bird flies down and he kidnaps the baby from the sleeping mom and takes him back to his nest. So Forrester hears this kid, sees him, and climbs up the, the tree, snatches him, gets him down, fetches him, kidnaps this kid from sleeping uh, mama. And uh, kid grows up, and, and the sister is Lena. Mm-hmm. Her and him, they get to get along like awesome. Yeah, they're like best friends. They're inseparable. Yeah, and when they are apart, they're really sad. Kids grow up together, and one day, cut to uh, the forester has a cook, an old cook lady. Yeah. And uh, cook lady one day is has two pails in her hands, and she's going back and forth from from the house to the spring, bringing water and to a kettle. Lena. Uh, sees the cook do this and is question starts questioning is like what are you uh, what are you up to old santa and she's like if you don't say anything if, if you can keep a secret i'll let you in on what's uh, happening here she said that the next day while the forester was out and about foresteering she was going to put all the water in her kettle. Once no. the water was bubbling, then she was going to throw Von de Vogel in and boil him. And then the night the night ends, and the kids are in bed. And, and they it, wake up really early, and she turns over to, over to Von de Vogel, and she says, Never forsake me, and, and I will never forsake you. And then he says... And then he responded with... Uh, I'll never forsake you till the day I die. So she tells the fun and vocal that um, what the cook was planning to do. So they got up and they got dressed and they ran out into the forest. So that morning, the cook goes in to fetch the... Lena, Vondabogel. Lena, and Vondabogel, Vondabogel, and to cook them, and uh, she sees that the kids are gone and is freaked out. She's like, "What? What's the? What's the forester gonna do uh, when he finds out that I've lost the kids?" Uh, so she sends off her servants. Well, they're her sons. Yeah. She's like, go fetch the kids. Find them because it's. I'm gonna get in trouble if, if we don't. And uh, so she sends three servants off to find them. And uh, they, they, the kids are at the edge of the forest, and they see from a distance the three servants coming. So, the kid, uh, Lena, turns to find Vogel. Lena said to find Vogel, "Do do not forsake me, and I will never ever forsake." You and found a vocal answer. I will never forsake you as long as I live. You know, trust me. Trust I trust you. You trust me. We work together. We're a team. Um, 
and she wants her him to turn into a rose bush, and she will turn into a rose on the bush. Somehow she turns herself and Fundavogel into a rose bush and a rose, and the servants get to it and uh, to the edge of the, the forest, and they see it, and they're like, "Well, this is just a rose bush and a rose." Uh, I guess we're done looking. <laughs> and they get back to the cook. <laughs> and the cook's like, they tell him the cook, it was just a rose bush and a flower. I'm sorry. Uh, she knew that this was the two children uh, because she said, you idiots, why didn't you destroy the bush, which was Fundavogel, who she wanted to boil, and bring me back the rosebud, yeah, which was the, the little girl, girl so, so she the, didn't get in trouble. She says, go out and do it again. Get out there and maybe look harder. If you just saw a rose bush and flowers, look harder. Uh and kids are at the edge of the forest. They see the servants coming again. And, and she's the kids looking at, over at Fundavogel. And she says this. Lena said to Funda, Fundavogel, if that will never leave me, me, I too will never leave, leave thee. Fundavogel said, neither now nor ever will I leave thee. So she said the same thing. That she said earlier, and then she uh, said, you be a church, and I'll be the chandelier. Servants go up and see that there's just a church and a chandelier. So then the guys go back to the cook, aka their mom, <clears throat> and they're like, sorry, all we saw was this church and chandelier. And she gets super mad at them again. She's like, you idiots, why didn't you destroy the church and bring me the chandelier? God, do I have to do this myself? So she gets up and she leads him. She leads them, even though they knew where the girl was, not her. But she leads them on this trek back to the children. To the edge of the forest. She said, she was like, trust me, trust you. Yes, I do. All right. Uh, be a be a pond, and I'm going to be a duck. Mm-hmm. So they just are now, he turns into a pool of liquid, and she just, like, f- turns into a duck and floats on top of him. Cook and the servants get to the, the pond. Cook's like, boy, this resting water is probably tasty to drink. I'm going to go lay down and take some drinks out of it. And she does. Mm-hmm. And then the duck comes at her and grabs her head, pulls her into the water. Drowns her. And then the kids were happy. And the kids just went home. They held hands and skipped all the way home. Uh, And, I mean, if if Fundevogel and Lena there are not dead, then they are uh, still living. To close the chapter on this episode, until we meet again. And so the story goes, we turn the page to find the end.